For number 22, we are going to use the rule of exponents to simplify uh, this expression. So let's get to work. Number 22, we have 16 x to the 6, y to the negative 4 raised to the 1 half power over parentheses negative 27 x to the negative 6, y to the third power raised to the 1 third. So let's focus on this. Our first, our first step is to take the exponent on the outside, which is the one half, and then distribute into the inside exponents. Okay. So I'm going to have 16 raised to the one half power. And then for the next one, I will have x raised to the six, but then I will multiply by one half. And then y to the negative 4 multiply by 1 half. Okay? So that will be the top. And then over the denominator, which will be the same. You take the exponents and then distribute the inside to each exponent inside. So first, we will have negative 27. So let me put that into a parenthesis, negative 27 raised to the one third power. And then I will have x to the negative 6 times 1 third on the exponent. The last one, y to the third power times 1 third. Okay? Then let's see what we have. Uh, let me make some note on the side. So let me make a note. So as we can see on the first one, it says we have 16 to the um, one half power. So to deal with one half power, this means the square root of 16. The one half power means to take the square root of this number, which is square root of 16, and we know that's equal to 4. So we will have 4. And then x, 6 times one half is 3. So six um, x to the third power. And then for this, I will have y, Negative 4 times 1 half is negative 2. Over, um, let's look at the bottom one, this one right here. So on my note right here, negative 27 in parentheses raised to the 1 third power. Very similar to this one. The 1 third power means that we are going to take the cube root of this number, which is negative 27. And we can have a negative numbers inside of the cube root, right? And the cube root of 27 is 3, because 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So we will have a 3, but we want a negative, so we actually need a negative 3. So that's the result of negative 27 raised to the 1 third power. Here we have negative 3 on the denominator. And then I will have x once, uh, sorry, x, negative 6 times 1 third. Negative 6 times 1 third is negative 2. And then for the y, 3 times 1 third is just 1. So let me write this as 1. Okay, continue. So notice that 4 over 3, we cannot simplify that anymore. Okay, so that's pretty much it. 4 over negative 3. Uh, we cannot simplify that anymore. But then for the x, x to the third power over x to the negative 2, we can simplify that. So I will do that right here. For x, let's take a look. We have x to the third power over x to the negative 2. And to simplify fractions, when we divide, we are just going to subtract the exponents. So we are going to get x to the third power minus, because we have a division, we are going to minus um, the top exponent, subtract the bottom exponent, which is negative 2. So in this case, actually we'll end up with 3 minus a negative 2, i.e. 3 plus a 2, right? So x to the fifth power. And notice that this is a positive exponent, so it stays on the numerator. And I will put that right here, x to the fifth power, okay? And then let me do one for the y. For y, we are looking at y to the negative 2 over y to the first. 
Similar to this step, I will take y of the first of of the power on the top, which is negative two, minus because we have a division, the power in the denominator, which is one. Negative two minus one. Well, y to the negative two minus one, we will get y to the negative three. But when we have a negative exponent, that goes down to the denominator. So one over y to the third power. So as we can see that we are going to put a y to the third power in the denominator. Y to the third power goes right here. So as we can see that we simplify the fractions and all the exponents um, it's positive and we don't have any other like terms that we need to be combined. So there we have it. This is the answer that we are looking for.